this place is just about filled. A very loud and tough environment. Minnesota and number two, Penn State. Cockrell, he's going to go for it all right now. Johnson has the catch. He's down to the 35. It is fourth down and 16. And now Minnesota has to go for it all. Cockrell, he'll throw it deep. Penn State on the Dan Nystrom for the win. He got it! And the Gophers have beaten the number two team in the country! Glenn Mason gets his big win. Yes, 20 years later, the celebration continues. It will continue in earnest as that 1999 team will be honored after the first quarter. We can't wait that long. So we brought in two of the heroes, Ron Johnson, Dan Nystrom. Ron, I start with you. And how well, 20 years later, do you remember not just that game, but especially that final drive? I'm not sure what was better, the catch or the deflection to help someone else make the catch. Well, I mean, Spice Adams has been texting me all day. I'm going to admit, I tried to catch that. It I wasn't a deflection. Did. So, but he was holding my arms. They told him to grab me on purpose. And so we know the refs weren't going to give Penn State a penalty or give us a penalty to help us beat Penn State. So thank goodness Arlen Bruce was there because I literally tried to catch it, dropped it. But I remember bits and pieces. It's coming back to me now. I hear Coach Mason talk about it all week. I hear other people bring stuff up that happened during the week. Coach Mason talking about plays that happened. So it's been great to see it all over the Big Ten Network, all over ESPN. Everybody's been talking about that game 20 years ago, November 6th. And so now we're here on November 9th, and the Gophers have a chance again. Dan, I know it's hard to remember one specific play from two decades ago, but when you're a kicker and when the game rests on your foot, you know it's a win or lose situation. How well do you remember it? And when you get in that situation as a kicker, what's the mentality like? Well, you know, actually, I do remember it a little bit, um, just a little bit. And I only get to go out on the field a couple times a game where, you know, Ron was out there all the time. So, and obviously being very memorable to me, uh, it's been fun to relive those memories this week. Um, but I'll tell you what, what I do remember is there were so many people there. It was so loud. And after I made the kick, it was really quiet, other than the little section of Gopher fans that were at that game. Now, I want to know who it was that Glenn Mason jumped on. I know he can't do that anymore, but there's a famous <laughs> clip of Mace basically yeah. bear-hugging a player. You guys ever still reflect on that with oh, yeah. Mace? Because we know he can't do that athletically anymore. I think he can still coach, <laughs> but that jump right there, that's not happening anymore. No, so they are honoring the 99 team after the first quarter today in the stadium, and that's Alex Haas, our tight end. Thank you for he answering is here. that question. He told us that he's been doing squats in hopes that Mason was going to be here <laughs> so he could pick him up again today, but he's not. We're going to try it with our other coach, Vic Adamley, who's our running backs coach. He's here. So, but yeah, Alex said he's been doing squats at Lifetime Fitness, getting ready for today. Well, I tell you what, when I go back to the studio, I'll let Mace practice on me, and then I'll get <laughs> Alex and Glenn together to see if we can recreate 1999. They'd love to recreate it today, Dan. What is it like to be back here and watch this program doing what it's doing to play in a game of this magnitude this late in the season in November? It's really fun. Um, you know, we've been waiting for a while uh, for the Gophers to get back to a moment like this. And for them to be undefeated and for Penn State to be undefeated and be in a game like this 20 years removed from, you know, uh, 99 team that beat Penn State is pretty remarkable. Many of us believe that one area where Minnesota has a distinct advantage, their wide receiving core against Penn State's DBs. I know you're close. You work with Tyler Johnson, talk with Tyler a lot, that outstanding receiving core with Rashad Bateman and Chris Ottman bell as well. Do you see that as the key for Minnesota offensively in this game? Yeah, and, and the, with their receivers, you have to understand, they are a top three receiving core in the country. You got LSU, you got uh, Alabama, you got Georges in there. Minnesota's trio is right there, but don't forget about Demetrius Douglas. He had a couple big drives where he caught a third down and long, and then a fourth down and eight to extend the game against South Dakota. So Demetrius Douglas is an unforgotten hero. Ronnie Bell dropped the ball against Penn State. They could have possibly won that game. Demetrius or Chris Ottman bell could be that kid today if it goes back to special teams uh, i mean is that a situation where as a former kicker you want to be able to watch a guy or do you not want to put a guy in that situation <laughs> because you know what that guy is going through well i'll tell you what i mean as a kicker you want to be in that position you want to have have that opportunity to potentially kick the game winning field goal i mean that's you, you kind of live and die by that but um but you want to be in that situation i hope it's not that close to be honest <laughs> because i mean 
you know, I don't want someone stealing any of my thunder from 20 years ago. <laughs> Trust me, listening to these fans, they remember. It's going to live on for a long time in Gopher lore. Ron Johnson, Dan Nystrom, guys, enjoy the celebration. Well-earned honor after the first quarter. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.